Welcome back to Beauty Marks Podcast. My name is Elizabeth Savion, and thank you for joining me on the first Monday of the year's episode. Um, so we are in a new year, new week, new goals, new everything. Um, I mean, it's technically like a continuation. However, uh, you know, we're hoping that things for you at least are, you know, like you have different things that you want to accomplish this year or things that you're thinking about doing. Um, and you know, it's kind of sad that Christmas is over and I already in my neighborhood, like people are putting down their lights and I'm like, no, it went by so fast, but, um, you know, I'm really thankful for, you know, for moving into a new year. And so I want to talk about something today that I was actually thinking about, I know last week I talked about lessons that I learned in 2020 and I talked briefly about like my goals, things that I have, my thoughts on goals, all that. But I wanted to talk about why we don't accomplish our own like goals for ourselves, but also why we kind of self-sabotage ourselves in, you know, because of our mindsets, um, you know, we label ourselves of how we are. Um, and this is something that I know that I've struggled with. So I thought I would just talk about it on here. So we'll just get right into it. So the first reason why I feel like people don't accomplish things that they have set for themselves is because they have a mindset about why they are the way that they are or what they believe or they're telling themselves they can't do it or they have like limiting beliefs. Um, so I feel like until you change your mindset, that is t- that's where it all starts. Like it's what you're telling yourself about who you are and what you can do. Um, and also what you're allowing in to dictate, you know, what you're thinking about, because everything starts with a thought. Everything that we do with our lives starts with a thought about what we, um, you know, and then from a thought it starts, you know, so everything starts with a thought then we like let that, you know, start going. And then we start, you know, either talking about it or we start, um, you know, like letting that sit there for a while. And then we start acting on it. Like, but everything starts from, you know, from a thought, which is crazy. Like every decision that you make, every de- everything that you do really stems from that. So um, it really starts from there. So when it comes to your goals of what you want to accomplish. I know for myself, for example, it's like, you know, if I am always telling myself, well, this is the way that I am. Like, um, you know, I'm always late or I'm not consistent. I always give up, you know, I can never stick to something, you know, I can't wake up early or I, you know, like you're always kind of like limiting yourself of what you can do when honestly, it hasn't even, it has been proven in my own life. Like, um, before everything I used to work at seven 30 in the morning. So like I had to be up and going, like I had to be at work really early. So like I had to work, I had to wake up by like 6am and I lived like 35 minutes away from my job. So it was like, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I was late. I was late. However, like just the whole, um, aspect of having to wake up early I always would be like oh no I cannot work a job that early you know but I was literally waking up for two years I was doing that and I like had to be out of my house by 6 50 uh, 7 a.m to get there you know and I would always be like oh no like that's just so early um so it's like but at the same time because I wanted that job and I wanted to be a part of that I was willing to commit to that I was willing to do that so I feel like if you really want to do something, you have the power to change that. If you really want to do something for your life and change something, you have to make the decision. You can read all the inspirational stuff. You can literally have someone calling you to tell you or texting you to remind you, but you're the one that decides to do it. Like until you realize, like that comes with everything, with uh, your weight, with relationships, with your mindset, with your environment, with your job, whatever you're trying to change in your life until you literally wake up and decide for it yourself and you like snap out of it and decide to change, that's when change will really happen. And it's really when you decide that you want it that bad, you know, if you want something that bad, you change, you know, and something that, um, I read the other day that it says the things that you're not changing, you're choosing. 
So technically you're choosing what you don't change. If you're living a lifestyle and you're, you know, if it has to do with your, um, with your fitness goals. And if you're deciding to eat junk food, you know, I've, I've done that to myself. Like I've shared in the past um, episodes that like my weight, literally it's insane how like my weight, I can be 15, 20 pounds difference in a year. Like that's horrible for your body. But like, because my hormones are so imbalanced and I eat, like I eat based on like, I can go to extremes. I can either like eat very, very little, or I can binge eat, which is something that I've struggled with for such a long time. Um, and that was something that I had shared on my podcast is that I, the goal is really to have like a good relationship with food because that is where like my body just, you know, isn't, doesn't treat me right when I am doing one or the other. Um, and so if I'm choosing to eat late at 9 PM, you know, like a stuffed crust pizza, which honestly, that's like the best thing ever. But if I'm choosing to eat that, you know, that's something that I'm deciding. So I'm choosing not to be healthy, you know, in the long run, because I'm making those decisions you know, and I'm talking about like consistently, I'm not talking about like, you know, having like a cheat day or a day that you just, you know, like eat what you want, you know, it's more like when I'm choosing bad habits daily, I'm making those decisions consciously and I'm deciding to do that. So at the end of the day, I've had to like check on myself, you know, and this is like a very personal thing to me too. That's why I'm like putting myself in this situation because I know that this is something that I've struggled with, um, is to say like, I'm choosing to do this. So I can't complain because I'm choosing, like, I'm okay with it. If I'm literally, you know, if it's with my health, with my relationships, I'm willing to suffer and be a part of this and continue hitting myself on the same rock. I am choosing to be here. I am choosing that this is okay to be treated this way, or I'm choosing to be suffering and crying every day is fine for me, or I'm choosing to be in, um, you know, a job that, you know, maybe they don't respect me or they're not valuing me for the position, you know, for the work that I'm doing X, Y, Z. So everything that you don't change, you choose. And you have to remember that. So going into this new year, um, I just wanted to like, really like break that down because a lot of people aren't about like resolutions or like goals, you know, and especially with how things are right now. And that's what I want to like emphasize on is that, yes, of course, things can change when it comes to like the year, you know, having something set. I am completely against that because that has not worked for me. And I'm not recommending anyone to be like, okay, like this month is going to happen and like a deadline by this age, by this date, like, no, like, I feel like that's just really toxic for you. And like, you're always going to be living in like the future instead of the now. So I'm definitely not for that, but I definitely am talking about like those goals or those, those changes that you want to make in your life of habits that by changing those habits, you will see the results in other areas, you know? So those are the things that you, you know, like will pay off in the future. So it's like, you're focusing on this. If it's waking up early so that you um, have time with God and you read or you like prepare your day, you know, if you wake up, like you're going to see results in those areas, you know, you're going to grow in your relationship with God. You're going to create a consistent schedule and discipline with waking up early. And if it's like that you work out in the mornings, then you're going to see results in your body, you know? So like by making those small changes, you're going to start seeing those results long-term. So that's more of what I'm talking about today. Um, and also something that I know that why I feel like we don't accomplish or like we self-sabotage ourselves is because we know a lot of information, but we don't apply it. Like we literally like, and I know in today's age that you can literally listen to YouTube podcast books. Um, you can read books, but it's about really applying the knowledge. Like it's not only about knowing stuff, it's applying it. And the thing is that once you know it, you are held accountable for knowing it because you are fully aware of that aspect. So if that's like your health, like I know the way that I can be healthy. Like I literally, I can like, it's so bad, but it's so true. Like I know exactly what I have to do to get healthy, to have a healthy lifestyle. I know it. I've done it before. I've lost 
30 pounds. I've ate really good. I've stuck to working out, you know, four to five times a week. Like I've done that before. So I know how to do it. It's about applying it and applying the knowledge and doing it, you know, but again, like what, what I just said is that like, that's a decision that you personally have to make yourself. And so it's apply. it's not only knowing how to do things and, and, you know, getting information, it's applying it. Um, and also for me as a believer, I feel like the reason why we don't accomplish certain things is because we don't allow God in our own plans. Like we make our plans and we set everything out, like the timelines, the deadlines, and we don't pray about them. We don't pray about what we want to do when it comes to our body, when it comes to our jobs, our careers, our relationships, our um, decisions of moving places of, of as like all of these things that are pertain in our life that are everyday things in our life. We don't pray about them. And I believe that God cares about the small and the big things. Like he wants to be a part of our everyday life. Um, and I feel like when we make our own decisions, they were like, God bless that. Like, you know, I'm going to do this regardless, like just bless that, you know? Um, like, I feel like we, don't like, we're pretty much telling God what to bless, you know? So I feel like in, in my life, I have come to the realization that I want God to be a part of everything. So I'm going to pray about all those things when it comes to my fitness goals, like God help me. I know I have, you know, this fruits of the spirits. We have self-control. We have like all these things in us already. It's like, God help me to have self-discipline to be, have self-control when it comes to, if it's like for my fitness, for my food, or if it's that I have a discipline to go to sleep early, wake up early. If it's discipline with my finances, like God help me to like be wise, you know, God, you know, the book of Proverbs even is like, our, the book for us, you know, to guide our life. And it talks about everything. It talks about friendships, um, relationships. It talks about um, finances. It talks about, you know, you reaping and sowing. It talks about so many things. And I feel like we have to put into practice those things. So it's like allowing God in everything, you know, so like as this year is starting, like, you know, I know a lot of people do um, fasting and that's something that I have decided to do is three weeks of fasting um, and prayer and fasting. So that's pretty much dedicating. I know people do it in different ways, but, you know, some people give up something for 21 days that's kind of hindering their relationship with God, if it's social media or if it's electronics or if it's, um, you know, maybe it's food, you know, if, if something has, you feel like is, become an idol in some way, you know, and so you kind of dedicate those 21 days to pray, to focus on God. And, um, you know, some people do it with food, with certain types of food. So I've done it before in the the past years, I did like the Daniel's fast that, you know, I ate, um, certain types of food. I did, um, you know, social media fast, all those, uh, all those things that kind of help you to get back on track. But the whole focus of that is that you literally dedicate your focus, like you refocus yourself and you build that foundation with God and you build that relationship with God and you truly focus on him. You know, you truly focus on God and ask him for guidance for the rest of the year, you know, and that's something that you build, um, that relationship. So I'm going to dedicate 21 days to that, to really just get myself right and fix my eyes on what really matters. Um, and what he has for me this year, because that's one thing that I don't know exactly like the word, I wouldn't say I have a word for the year, but I really do want whatever God wants for me, like whatever it is. And it's such a risky thing, but I want to like, have that full assurance. Cause I feel like last year was about really, truly trusting God and putting my life in his hands. And I feel like now it's okay. Like now he's moving certain things to guide me into where he wants me to go and what he wants me to do. So that is where I'm at with that. So, yeah. So I feel like allowing God and all the things that you're doing is going to help you achieve them. You know, God wants to bless the things that like God has put stuff in your heart for a reason. And he, wants to use the things that you, you know, that you're doing and, you know, like he has a plan, you know, for all of us. So it's like, include him in those things. So my focus is for the year, as I shared, um, was about definitely, you know, with the fast now I'm going to start, I really want to get my relationship with God, um, you know, 
I really want to continue to establish my relationship with God and make that continuously my first priority. And sometimes we, because of life seasons that I don't know, like, I feel like it's true. It's like, you have seasons that you're like really close. You're kind of close. You're not, you make that a priority. You don't, but I really want to make that as, as much as I want to make like working out my lifestyle, like that I work out and like, I need to work out. I want the same thing with God is that I literally like need to do that, like need to get into the word every day, you know, cause I pray, I put worship music, I listen to podcasts, all of that, but I want to like apply, like to get into the word and build community in that as well. Um, so, and also I want to like read one book a month because I really enjoy reading, um, and applying it. That's most importantly applying what I read. Um, and the second thing that I really want to focus on is to be more real and authentic on this podcast. Um, I feel like this is a raw space that we talk about a lot of deep topics. We talk about a little bit of everything, but I definitely want to dive deeper into certain topics that have been on my heart that since I started the podcast, I've been thinking about, and I had written down that I'm going to talk about them. Like I have like two or three things that I haven't spoken about that are very deep and personal and like are a really big foundation of me though, like that have been part of my story and that have shaped me throughout my life. And so, um, you know, they're painful, they're hurtful stuff. And I feel like you know, every time I have like tried to talk about them and I recorded them, like I've either broken down or cried and I'm just like, okay, I'm not ready, you know? So I, but I do want to like this year to focus on certain topics because I know that I know that I know that the, that they're going to bless someone, like they're going to help someone, they're going to free someone. Something that I always talk about telling other, telling your story is you're bringing freedom to someone else, you know? So I want to be able to talk about those things because also I can unlock and I can free someone by me sharing that. And then as I'm talking about them and I, as I bring those things to light, I'm also free because I don't have to w- carry that weight and I don't have to carry that. Oh, well, you know, this is something that nobody knows, you know? So it's like, at the end of the day, I want to do that. And so that's my goal is to continue to, to push myself, to share those stories that are on my heart and share those things. So, um, I definitely want this podcast, like I want to create a community within this podcast. You know, I have some things in my heart that I would love to do within women. Um, I feel like I just have a heart to help other women to encourage, to, um, build a community with women. I feel like we are stronger together. We can help each other. We are more alike than we think we are. Um, and so I want to be able to, to, find a way in 2021 to be more intentional with building a community in that. So so there are some goals with my podcast and just, you know, just taking you and walking you guys through some seasons that I've walked through and, and continue to be honest and open and have those tough conversations. Um, Also, you know, with my fitness, let's talk about it. I would love to create a healthy lifestyle, you know, that I stick to, you know, I shared about, you know, my weight loss, weight gain and all of that kind of stuff. But I really would like to, you know, be more intentional with that. I've done keto before and that has worked for me to like lose weight. A lot of people have their own thoughts on that, but I feel like I just feel better when I'm on it. Um, but I, primarily my goal is really the healthy lifestyle, you know? So I want to like also eat less dairy. I love cheese. I know it's like kind of like random, but I love cheese and milk and everything, but I feel like that has also, um, messed with my hormones. And so I would like to limit that to see if there is a change in that, but you know, I just want to overall, I just want to sleep, drink water, eat healthy, you know, have that skin glow and, um, you know, be healthy from the inside out, you know, emotionally too. I, you know, throughout this year, even a video that I made on my Instagram, uh, from last year, was about, um, you know, putting a facade of how you were really feeling like, you know, you're all dressed up from the outside, from the outside, nobody knew that you were struggling with things, but on the inside you were broken and hurting. And so I want to continuously remember that, that I want to be 
fully authentic to myself and to others as well. You know, we all have different struggles and I feel like I don't want to have the same struggle every year. Like I want to get past certain things, you know, and something that I shared in the last episode is about going through heartbreak this year. Um, you know, I feel like in the past few years that has been a big struggle for me, like in dating relationships. And I want to get to the point that that's not my struggle anymore. You know, I feel like I have been really sad about, you know, relationships and, you know, dating and and all those things. And, and I've shared that on the podcast before about like, you know, the expectations about you're 25 and you're not married. And there's a lot that goes into that. But I really want to be at a better place that literally like I'm OK where I'm at in my dating relationships, you know, like me being single and everything like that. And fun that February is coming around. And so I will be talking about more of that stuff. But, you know, I feel like that is something that is on my heart. And, you know, you know, I know that other women experience the same thing. So I know I'm not the only one, but I don't want to be in the same spot. I want to outgrow that and I want to overcome that and just be okay, like be completely okay where God has me. Um, for this reason, I want to heal and, you know, and so I really want to walk in full power, like have my power back when it comes to just being emotionally okay. I really want this year for me to just heal, to grow, to just truly embrace my singleness and just, you know, just know that like, I need to go through this, you know, like I, instead of ex- taking like a side door or escape route, like I just need to like go through it. I want to dedicate this year um, fully to what God really has for me, heal, create better habits and lifestyles, you know, with my business. I want to continue to believe in myself, you know, in that confidence. And, and this is something also that this year, having this podcast has definitely given me a voice more than I have before. It's definitely given me more confidence in myself and just to know that I can do something like this. You know, I can do something like this. Um, You know, I have something to give. I have something to share. Um, And I know that, you know, I want to continue doing that, you know, I want to, you know, be consistent because I am a consistent person. I am dedicated and I am passionate when I really want something, I I can accomplish it, you know. So those are things that I'm continuously looking forward to and, you know, just excited for what's to come this year. Um, You know, I wish you that in the next few weeks, like you think about it, you know, you get your mind right, you know, fast, pray, do what you have to do, prepare for what your year has to hold. I don't know if you're graduating, if you're, you know, starting a new job, if you are in between jobs, if you're going to move to another state, if you are just trying to, you know, get financially free, just trying to create a healthy lifestyle, are trying to launch something, grow your relationship with God, or whatever it is that you're trying to do, put God first in everything that you're going to do, pray about it, and also, you know, write things out if that helps, plan it out, and see, you know, you can do anything that you set your mind to, you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to, change your mindset, remember what we talked about today, like, it all starts with your mindset. What are you saying about yourself? Be realistic about what you're trying to do, you know, um, apply what you know, because what we don't change, we are choosing and allow God in everything. So I hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. Thank you for tuning in always. Um, If you haven't, please leave a review on this podcast. That just helps me to know. And that also gets the word out to other people of what you think about the podcast. So I would greatly appreciate that. Um, And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and follow me at Elizabeth Sabi. And I will see you guys next week.